Greetings, Faithless Viewer. Today we have something special for you. I'm joined by Lewis, and I'm going to teach him how to play Middle Earth. He's never played this game before, so this is going to be fun. So, the forces we're using today, we're playing 300 points, and it's going to be Halls of Thranduil against Goblin Town. I shall be using Tauriel and Legolas with seven elves. And Lewis will be using the Goblin King and Greena with a large amount of goblins. Right, let's see what scenario we're playing. If you'd like to roll a d6 to see which chart. Yeah, so that's a one. And then to see which scenario. Five. Five is Reconnoiter. So we'll be back after setup. Okay, so. Lewis got Greener's Warband on. I got nothing on. So I think we're going to say for turn one, Lewis is just going to move those. So just for the sake of it, we'll just roll for priority for turn two now. I got a six. So I have priority on turn two. So back for you for turn two. So after moving on turn two, I've got both my Warbands on. Lewis has got his other warband on, and Garena's unit has advanced. There's nothing else we can do this turn, so we'll do priority for turn three. That's a one and a five, so Lewis gets priority. There you go. Okay. And we'll be back after movement. All right, Goblin Town is swarming towards me, and my tiny little warband is moving up. These three only moved half, so they're going to attempt to shoot at that group there. So, let's start with Toriel shooting. I'll go for the one in the middle. I've got a shoot value of three, so I move, so it's a four. I hit. I got a strength of three. You've got a defense of. It's the warrior, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, defense of three. So I need a four to wound. Yeah, I got it. It's one dead goblin. Then this elf here will shoot at the one on the end. Our stats would be on a different page. Warrior, still three. So four to hit. Yes, four to wound. Yay! This is the best shooting round I've ever had. So that's another dead one. And the final one, four to hit. Yes, four to wound. No. Right, um, nothing else to do with this turn so for turn three priority mine. you keep it okay this time everybody moved half distance to shoot so let's start laying into them so this group first Toriel firing at the closest goblin four to hit nope then one two three as we go along first one hits and wounded one dead goblin Second one, hit, and didn't wound, and the third one, hit, and wounded, so another dead goblin. Okay, Legolas is going to fire three shots at the group, so fours, all of them hit, and fours. I've got one, it's not awful. One dead. Any specific? Doesn't matter. And I'm just going to roll for the other four together, because it's quicker. So they need four, two of them, and four, two of them. Another two dead goblins. Right, that is the end of shooting. Still no combat. Let's do priority for turn four. That goes to me this time. Right, back after movement. We're almost at combat range. So I'm going to have one last round of shooting before swords start clashing. So let's start with this group. Um, well the Goblin King has just shown himself so he's going to be my target. So Toriel shoot him first. Four to hit. Yes. And what's his defence? Yeah so that's going to be three, five. Yeah it's going to be a five to wound. It's going to be a five to wound. No. Then the other three are going to shoot, all at Goblin King, fours to hit, two hits, fives to wound, 
two wounds. Right, so this is where you can use fake points if you like, which gives you a four plus save. Before I do, can I use blubbery mass? Yes. Can I? Because it says well, it ignores the rule me. if it's elven made weapons, but it's a bow. No. It's not, so I no. can. Yeah, their daggers are elven made, but not their bows. So every time the Goblin King is wounded, roll a d6 on a three plus, the wound's ignored. Okay. So first one. Yep. And second one. No. no, so you take a wound, uh, you can use a fake point if you want to try and stop. How many wounds do you have? That's three. So it's up to you, you can use a, a fake point to make a save. That's my only fake point on him, so no, I'll probably leave it for now. Okay, so he takes a wound. Right, then over here this group's going to shoot at this large group in front. So Legolas is going to start with his multi-shot. So force to hit, none. And then the other four are going to shoot, force to hit. Two, and forced to wound. One. So, one more goblin dead. Right then. Again, nothing else to do this turn. So this is where it comes down to it. Priority. Two. I get it. So back after movement. So we've got a big scrap going on here now. Uh, these guys didn't move. So I wanted to see what these ones are going to do. And, as I feared, they're advancing. So... Let's see if we can do some more wounds on the Goblin King. Toriel first, now only need a three because I didn't move. Still missed. And the other three firing at the Goblin King, all needing threes. Two of them got there. Fives. Nothing. That's it for shooting. So, we'll go into combat. I'm just going to take a quick pause because I have to explain combat to Lewis. Right, so we're going to start off with um, Legolas against Greener. So it's two attacks each. That is a six for me and a six for you. My fight value is six. Five. Five plus. So I win. You can't spend a might point on that because six is the maximum you can get. Yeah. He's got two wounds. So I move you back. Then I make my two strikes. Okay. So my strength is four. Your defense is. Two. So four. Oops. Strength four minutes two. That's going to be three. Oh, his defense is four. Yep, sorry. That's four, is it? So I'm going to need fours to wound. That is two wounds. You can use fate points. I'm going to use one of my fate points, or my only fate point. So that gives you a four plus save. Yeah. Four. So you take one wound. So he's got one left. Okay, and then we'll move round, so we'll start with this one doing a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, normal elf has got, yeah, just one attack. So five against two, so he beats you, you move back, and it's going to be a... What's the strength? Three. And your defense is four. Three against four, it's a five. Okay, so I need five to win that one. No. Then we'll have this one against those two. So you get two attacks to my one. It's a five, a six, you beat me. So I go back an inch, and that gives you two strikes on me. My defense is three, your strength is three. So it's gonna be fours then. Yep, it's two. Yeah. <clears throat> Dead elf. And then finally, no, not finally, got one on one here. I beat you. Uh, and I need a four, a five, sorry. Yes, so I kill that one. And then finally, is that. Oh, sorry, I got those around the wrong way. You were two on him, not one. So. You won anyway. No, I won. Okay, we'll do two on one for this one to even things up. So you get two attacks. I get one. Yeah. So you knock me back and you need a... Ooh. Oh, it does. It was a... What was four. your strength? Four, straight three. Sorry. Yep, so it was a four. No. Nothing. No. Right. That ends turn three. Unless I four. forgot. Turn four. That ends turn four. 
Only one loss for me. You're still nowhere near your break point. So let's do priority for turn five. That's still me. It's to get off the board, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got combat going on there and Toriel charged the Goblin King, but the Goblins countercharged me, which means I had to split off. So Toriel is now against two Goblins, and I've got one Elf against the Goblin King and two Goblins. So, I'm going to start this combat over here. I'm going to do Legolas against Green again. So it's two attacks. That is a three. 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 I've got the highest fight value. So, back off Greener. And two strikes against you, needing fire. Oh. Ah. Four. Uh, defense four. And his, oh, his strength was four, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's fours. That's two wounds on Greener. Dead this I don't time. Think you can. Yep. Yeah. Right now we've got one of mine against four of yours. Five, you've got five there, so my fight value for an elf is five? Five. Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ah, I've got elven made daggers, which means it's a rolling for the tie. I've got elven made daggers. Oh, evil wins. And I, oh, I can move back. <laughs> so it's four strikes against me. Needing fours. Needing fours. Yeah. That's a dead elf. Four. <laughs> dead elf, dead elf, dead elf. Right, then we've got one against two here. Mm -hmm. No, that's Greener, isn't it? No, Greener died. Yeah, dead. it is one against two. So I've got a two. You win. I back off. So that's two strikes. You're needing fours again. Yep. yep, it's another dead elf. And one against two again. That's a five for me. I win that time. So you guys back off a little bit. Ooh. And I need five this time. Yay, I kill one. Right then. Be specific. It doesn't matter. It doesn't worry me. Okay, now we just need to look up some special rules for these guys. Okay, Toriel has the Elven Mistress rule, which means she's going to be getting four attacks in this combat. Uh, okay, so it's a six. I think I've got this one. Yay. So that gives me four strikes. Her strength is on the other page. Her strength is four. So I'm gonna be needing fours here. And it's only one dead. One dead goblin. Right, let's see what the goblin king can do. Right, so it's one elf against the goblin king and two goblins. That's a four. Looking at that, there's a five, five. in there. Yeah, you win. Uh, so, uh, my defense is three, your strength. It's going to be four. No, my defense is four, isn't it? Because I'm thinking of the wrong person. Yeah. Oh, my defense is five. So, the goblin's strength is. The goblin is. Four, isn't it? I think so, hang on. Three. Three. It's even worse. Uh, no, it's not. It's still only five. So the band, the Goblin King strength. It's five. So it's going to be fours for the Goblin King and fives for the Goblins. Okay. Two fours from the Goblin King. Okay. That is one dead elf. That is combat over. So I've, I've now lost four people. My break point was. Did you say something about a quarter? Yeah, my break point is. Two left. 4.5. That means the next person to die, I will be broken. Okay, let's do priority for turn six. My. You get it. Okay, so Legolas and the elf over here have been surrounded, Toriel's being surrounded there. And that just leaves these two here, who didn't move, because they're going to take some shots regardless. So this one's going to shoot at that one there. I need a... I've forgotten, because I haven't shot in a while. I need a three to hit, because I didn't move. Yes, and a four to wound. No! And that one is going to shoot at that one there. Three to hit. No. 
Right, let's go straight into the fight phase. You have priority, so you choose the order of attacks. Okay, so we start here. So, normal elf against four. Here we go. That's a three for me. And that's more than the three. So, yeah, and you're going to need force to wounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dead elf. I've now passed my break points. Let's see if you can take me down to my 25% point. So, Legolas? Legolas four. against th against four, yep. So that's two attacks for Legolas. Yep. That is a six. I think I might have won that one. Yeah. And then two strikes. I'll move them in a sec. So I need fours. Yep, I killed two of them. And then I'll just move myself back. Legolas is holding his own. And then it's going to be Toriel against the Goblin King. So I'm going to have three, four, five attacks here. Because you outnumber me. Was it three for the Goblin King, wasn't it? Yeah, three for the Goblin King and then two normal. Okay. So I got five. You've got, got a six, six though. Okay, so you beat me. Here we go, could Toriel be going down? My defense is five, so. Strength five. Oh, that was right, it was four for fours. the Goblin King, five for the Goblins. Two. Two wounds, I have three fate points. I'm gonna use all three of those fate points. None of them, so it's two wounds I take. I have got, she's dead. Okay. Wow. <coughs> uh, one, two, three. I'm still here though. I'm not at 25%. One more kill. And I'm out. Let's do priority for probably the seventh and final turn. So five for me, five, five for, for me. you. So in a draw, it swaps. So it comes back to me now. Legolas is surrounded. This elf got charged by a couple of goblins. Nobody could quite reach him. So in the shooting phase, this elf here is just going to take a shot at the one right there. So three to hit. Yay. Four to wound. Yeah, I'm taking them out with me. Okay, but that's it for shooting. So combat. Oh face. no, you're shooting. Yes, you're going to throw a goblin at me. I'm going to throw a goblin. Right, let's throw this goblin. You need a five to hit. You got a five. You hit. So it's going to be... Move the goblin. Up. Yes. Goodbye, goblin. So that's a strength eight hit. I'm pretty certain this is going to be a two, so a quick look. No, yeah, it's a three. You need three to wound. Yep. yep. Okay. Dead of. Dead by goblin. Dead by goblin. We'll finish the turn. So let's do this one first. My one elf against two. So I got one. You need fours to wound me. Yeah, he's going down. And the last elf on the board is Legolas with his two attacks. Six. Oh, three. Here we go. Yeah, you beat me. You're going to get double strikes. That's going to be 12 strikes against me, needing four. I think it's going to be five. He's a bit tougher than everyone else, isn't he? Yeah, it's going to be fives. Oh wow, four. one, two, three, four, five. Five wounds. I've only got two wounds. Even if I used all my might points, I'd be dead. That is a tabling. Didn't expect to lose that bad. <laughs> so that was your first game of Middle Earth. What do you think? Yeah, it's not too bad. I want dwarfs. Dwarfs. I think so. Yeah, right. you might persuade me into it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon for some more Middle Earth action. Goodbye.